have you with us here today, whatever time it is where you are. It's uh, about 45 minutes before sunrise here in Arizona. <laughs> so I'll uh, watch that out my window here as we talk. Um, all right, diving right in. It's uh, good to be here with you. And, and these are three you know, fun topics here. These are things that we've, of course, been working on for, for the last uh, while here. And, uh, and I think you'll, this, this crowd in particular will be excited by some of these. These are some, uh, some, some fun ones. Um, these are going to fit solidly in these top two groups here in terms of our most product, productive modeling environments and in, uh, in generative engineering, too, as we start to head into templates and, and, and so forth. Um, but let's dive in. Uh, as, as Scott mentioned, uh, I'll, I'll have a, just a couple of slides on, on each of these, really, really kind of one. And, and then uh, we'll spend most of our time inside NX today. Uh, we'll probably take most of the hour, and I'm hoping to go into some detail on these. And, uh, and uh, yeah, and as Scott, Scott's mentioning in the chat window that I'm, I'm watching over here, that if you have questions, comments along the way, uh, please feel free to share those with us, and, uh, and I'll try to answer those as we go along. Okay? So with that, let's, uh, let's jump in. I, I suspect some of you have already been playing with some of these things, and, and, and yeah, some of you I know have been diving in and investigating these, uh, which is great. Uh, and, and this is one of the later sessions in the series. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, if you're familiar with some of these already, you may have some tips or tricks as we go through, and that's, that's good, too. Then this first one is talking about part families. We, we did a thing in, uh, in this latest release here um, with, with part families. Um, as many of you know, we, we redesigned the expressions dialog back in NX10 and NX11. And, and as part of that, we put a new table uh, in the expressions dialog uh, that that's a, was a new uh, widget that we had internally. It's called a table editor block, it's called. And, uh, and, and that worked really well with expressions, right? We, we used that same table editor block with the, uh, the, the attributes dialog as well for the bulk edit in the attributes dialog. And, and we found that that's a really nice high performance uh, block. Um, about a year and a half ago, I, I challenged our team to, to look at part families and see if what would happen if we took that same table editor block and, and used that to use to, to edit part family tables directly, rather than doing the round trip out to Excel that, that we know takes some time sometimes, particularly with large families. And uh, I, I had a customer, uh, many of you will know, um, well, you, yeah, a particular customer <laughs> who, uh, who, who I was talking with at a conference, and, and he, he suggested that he had a, a very big part family. It was actually a socket head cap screw part family, but they had lots of cross drillings and materials and coatings, and in addition to, of course, all the size variation. And, and he said it was in the neighborhood of 5,000 members and that it took them quite a while in his environment. He, he said some of that was probably team center. He said it took him about half an hour to just to open the part family each time they would open the part family. And, uh, and so, so I used, and he sent me the part. All right. And so we, we used that part extensively in our testing um, for demonstrations. I took one of our parts from the reuse library, uh, another socket head cap screw, and, and added a whole bunch of rows to it to get it up to about 5,000, well, to exactly 5,000 members um, so that, that you can use for demonstrations and things. And I'll show you today to, to show you kind of how this works. Uh, the, the point here in the end is this, it, it really worked. <laughs> right? that the new table is very, very fast. And, uh, and we'll see that here as, as we do that. And, and there's some cool benefits as we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into, uh, I, I think this just, Tells us that we're going to do a demo. Yep, sure enough. And uh, and, and I'm going to jump into to, uh, NX here. And we don't need to see that again. And we'll say, okay, all right. So we should be seeing NX at this point. Um, this, uh, this socket head cap screw part is the part. You'll see that as I open this here now, it opens quite quickly. Um, I, 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 Scott tells me that, uh, that you, you can't see my cursor, but you, you can see the crosshairs here. So the, there really is a little circle in the middle, and, and uh, this sounds like a Saba artifact here as we, as we do this. But, but we'll, I'll try to, try, to, try to be aware of that. Um, so, so we're in this, in this particular part. Uh, in the tools menu, of course, is our part families, um, part families uh, button up here. Uh, before I push that, right? Um, uh, traditionally, of course, what we've had here, historically what we've had here is, is the dialogue 
of course, the Park Families Dialogue. And, and as we uh, launch this, uh, we, we can go in there and there's a button to go and edit the spreadsheet, right? And, and the dialogue is generally quick. Uh, pushing the button to go to the spreadsheet then, you know, depends heavily on the size of the, the part family and those kinds of things to, to figure out how long it's going to take for us to take all the data for the, for the part family and go stuff it into an Excel session. We would stream all of that data over there through a, through a comm connection. And, and depending on the size of the family, if you've got big families, that, that could take quite a while, right? With this particular family uh, of 5,000 components or 5,000 members in this part family, this was taking me, I believe, in the neighborhood of about 11 minutes to, to launch Excel, just, just in my environment, right? Which, uh, which is just really a long time, right? Um, so, so I'm going to push the button up here. I haven't done it yet. I'm push the button. I'm going to show you how fast this comes up now, right? It's really impressive. So this is the big example of 5,000 that push the part families button. It's going to launch the dialogue and we're already live here. You can see inside the table, right? It's just almost instantaneous. It's like one second to load anything we've ever thrown at it, which is really, really fun. So, so big, big, um, uh, performance improvement there, right? Now, now, the beauty is that you can do all kinds of things while you're in here that used to cause you to reload, save and reload and exit, go back to the dialogue and go back to Excel and those kinds of things. And you just, you just cut out that, that whole load time, every single operation, right? Which is really nice. So as we're in here and we want to, for instance, um, add or remove rows in here. We can right click on in, in these guys, insert and delete rows uh, to do those kinds of things, right? That, that works really well. Um, the uh, other kinds of operations like uh, reordering rows and things like that, right? If we're over here, we've got our, our head diameter and our head length and we wanna swap, the, swap the, the, the order of those. We can come there over here and grab that head diameter, that head length, for instance, and we can move that head diameter down. If you watch in the table over here, it's gonna move that head diameter to the right. Um, it, it, it just does it. You push the button and it's done and we're back, right? <laughs> and, and that's one of those ones where you had to exit the spreadsheet, make that change in the dialogue and relaunch the spreadsheet to see that effect before. Uh, so it's super, super fast now as we do that. Uh, if we wanna add a new column here, for instance, right? If we've got this guy, and we want to say stick that in there right after that head diameter right there. We can say we can add that after the, uh, so yeah, we've selected head diameter. We're going to add that after the selected column, right? Uh, so this will pop in over here between head diameter and, and the, flat, the flat over here. But we, again, we do that. We poke the button and it's done, right? And just that fast, we're, we're in there and we've created that new, uh, that new column, populated that. And we can go in, of course, and start to edit values on these. And, uh, and, and make those changes very, very quickly. So, so yeah. very, very high performance here. Yes, kind of stuff is exactly the same. The part create times are just a touch longer in, in Team Center, of course, because you're doing a little bit of data, database work uh, in with those, right? But the operations that are inside NX are gonna be, yeah, fundamentally the same, right? That's a, that's David, a good yes, question. And the other question is, is there still the edit spread? Still can uh, you, uh, do all of the formula kinds of things. If you need to do formulas in, in here, and there are legitimate cases where you may want to do that. We, we've not taken away any of the Excel capability, right? Uh, this table here does not do does not do that kind of cell referencing kinds of stuff, right? But but any formulas and things that you create in the spreadsheet are certainly preserved, and uh, and and yeah, we'll we'll see the values on the uh, on this internal table right now, okay? And Terrell, and I mean not Daryl and Taylor. Good. Uh, let's see, one more point in here, the, uh, in the spreadsheet, there was the add-on menu, and inside the add-on menu, there were a set of operations in there, right? And those operations are all up here at the top, right, just above this table here, right? So we can go grab, for instance, one of those top rows, a little teeny one, this is a little M1.6 uh, right here. If we want to verify part, we can do that. And here again, we do that and, and it just does it, right? We don't have to jump back and forth between the, the spreadsheet and, and NX and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if we want to go grab a big one out there somewhere, here's one down at 4069 and, uh, and go create that part, for instance, right? We can poke that button. This one takes, a, this one actually does scale a little bit with the size of the family, but this one takes about five, six seconds and, and it's done, right? 
and, and it's gone and, and created that part for us out there on disk. So uh, again, very, very high performance now. You're going to see this, this just be so much easier to use and, and so much faster now uh, as we do that. Um, oh, one last point, I guess. You can uh, copy and paste uh, stuff from Excel as well. If you want to develop formulas, get, get values outside, and then and grab a range of those and paste them into uh, this, this table, you can do that as well. And similarly, grab stuff from here, uh, copy this, right, and, and take that out and, and put that into a, an external Excel also, okay? So that's the, uh, that's this first one. 